well hello there everyone in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can root your pixel devices running android 11 super easily well i am aryan tagore you're watching our tech and let's get started now before we start with the actual method there are a few things that you need to do so number one thing is you need to unlock your bootloader if you don't know there will be a link in the description below where you can find a proper written guide it's officially from google the second thing will be to unlock the developer options now to unlock the developer options go to settings go to about phone go to your build number tap it several times until it asks you for your pin or pattern now if you have enabled it then it's good or else input your pattern and it will show you are now a developer now go to system go to advance and go to developer options so the very first thing you need to do is enable usb debugging this is a very crucial part now the second thing will be to find automatic system updates now if once you find it disable it now let's say you did find automatic system updates faster than me since it took me ages disable it and connect your phone with your computer very first thing is we need to download the stock rom and this will be available over this side so it will be linked in the description down below sargo is the one you need to download for and download the latest patch available by the time you decided to root your device now head over to the folder where you downloaded your stock rom and we need to extract our stock rom where we have installed platform tools or should i say in simple terms adb and fastboot now i have already extracted it so i would cancel it and once you extract it you will see these files now open up the device folder or the pixel 3a folder and uh, just organize everything and all we need to do is now extract image sargo something something and in that particular file we need to extract boot image now this is what we will be patching so just extract it and as you can see i have already a uh, boot image so i'll delete it because this is the older one and after deleting i'll just copy the boot image to my internal storage now once the boot image is copied head over to your phone now after copying your boot image head over to your device and in your device you need to download Magis Canary. The link will be in the description below so make sure that you check it out and download it because this is a very crucial part. Now once the Magis Manager is installed open up the Magis Manager and once it boots up sorry once it starts up just tap on install and select the second option that is select and patch a file now it will take you to your file manager make sure that you grant Magisk canary the files and storage permission and remember that we copied the boot image select it and tap on let's go now Magisk manager will start downloading the latest Magisk available and you need internet connection for that if you don't have internet connection the process will fail now once uh, the download is complete the magis manager will start patching your boot image now the boot image will be outputted to the downloads folder which now we have to copy it to our pc so connect your phone to your pc and let's head over to our computer now after connecting your phone to your pc open up the internal storage of your device in your pc and go to the downloads folder now in the downloads folder you need to find the patched boot image and it will be named and uh, magisk underscore patched now cut or copy it to your folder where you have installed adb and fastboot or the platform tools now in in the folder fire up the command prompt and in the command prompt now you need to type is adb devices now this command will start searching for any adb enabled devices connected to your pc now if you don't see your device then have a look at your screen there might be a rsa prompt for allowing the device to connect or use adb now once you see the device type in adb reboot bootloader now this command will obviously reboot your phone to the bootloader mode now once your device reboots to the bootloader mode type in fastboot devices and once again you should see your device now if you don't see your device make sure that you install the drivers once again properly now type in fastboot flash boot 
majesk underscore patched dot img or all you can do is just copy the name of the file and just paste it this is just a much easier way if you don't remember the name now just hit enter and the command prompt will start flashing the patched boot image to your phone now once the boot image is flashed just type in fast boot reboot and this will reboot your device to your system now just wait until your device reboots now wait for your device to reboot and once the device reboot unlock your device of course and wait a second okay now once your device is unlocked go to Majisk manager and it will take some time to open up so be patient and just hang in there until it opens and once the Majisk manager opens up you should see something like this and if you can see safety net check then we have successfully rooted but still to be sure just head over to play store and uh, download and install your favorite root checker app now i am using root checker you can also but it depends now open the app and wait for it just press on agree press on get started and all you need to do is now tap on verify root now once you tap on it you should see this and once it's done boom you have successfully rooted your pixel device running android 11 now if for some foolish reason this method doesn't work for you chutto matte don't do anything else just head over to my website link in the description down below my website is ad free and you can find all the files required to download in one place well that's it for this video guys hope you liked it please like this video subscribe and share it with all your pixel friends till then bye bye